Nobody likes losing to moves that need very specific punishes that you may not have labbed. Whether it's a gimmick, a knowledge check, or just a move you've never seen before, it can be a lot to comprehend when learning a new game. I jumped into Grand Blue Rising like a lot of new players and got hit with a whiplash of moves I'm not familiar with. And from browsing the internet, like this Reddit thread, I see that others are dealing with the same thing. So instead of accumulating lots of salt, I decided to hit the lab and figure out solutions or just better ways to deal with certain moves. In this video, I'll present moves that gave me trouble and the solutions I labbed. If you learned something new, please drop a like. It helps channel out and lets me know if you want to see more content like this. To start, let's go with my main, Zeta. Her Arvis Spear special follow-ups can be punished, even the ones that back off from the opponent. If your character has a long horizontal attack, you can punish her greatly while she flies away. Her heavy version, she gets a second follow-up, but she is still vulnerable when she travels backwards, even if she uses her first follow-up to get away and save her second follow-up to fly back at you. Zeta players will often try to fish for anti-airs with their air ultimate Arvest Spear. If they guess wrong, it can be hard to punish on block when spaced out. To guarantee a punish, try evading on reaction to the time slowdown and punishing with a quick normal. Moving on to my previous main, a lot of fairy players like to autopilot and cancel their normals into GG, especially her sweep since it sets up a potential 50-50 mix-up. While she's summoning her Gigi, you can go for a dashing attack or a forward moving horizontal attack, which will cause Gigi to disappear and punish the fairy player. Just be aware, you'll be vulnerable to her whip special, but that leaves her open to a crossover, creating a multi-layered mind game. If you cross over when she summons Gigi though, you'll still be plus. Anila's down special is used to reset her pressure by using jumping attacks. The best way I found dealing with this is to hard focus and look for it during their block string, since they tend to slip it in during their attack patterns. Using anti-air attacks like Down Heavy are great for punishing this move, especially in the corner. Mid-screen is the same and you can punish with Down Heavy. But when spaced out properly, they can jump over you and hit your cross-up. You can still punish with Down Heavy, but you'll have to adjust your timing. A more stable punish is to do a standing normal attack like Stand Heavy and get a triple attack punish. Henri's Super Skybound Arc can be difficult to punish even when blocked up close. To get a proper punish and avoiding the block stun, use Evade right after Super Startup Animation and then run in for an attack. Avatar Belial will try to mix up their opponents with their down special. Light version can be used as a feint, medium is plus on block kick, heavy is a grab, and ultimate is a projectile that can be charged. All versions of these can be air to aired with either a jumping attack or an air grab. The medium and heavy version you'll see the most, so you can prepare to hit them with an anti-air attack like Down Heavy for a larger punish. The ultimate skill version of Down Heavy is plus on block. You can punish this by reacting to the blue slowdown with the Down Heavy, even if you block the first hit, or evade at a distance. After Avatar Belial's neutral special, he can be followed up with the U button. The U follow up is punishable on block, but often Avatar Belial's would do the up unique special to be plus on block. You could interrupt this by doing an anti-air attack. Kegliosho's down ultimate special is her reversal. Make sure you do a micro dash to get a punish on block. Her air ultimate down special though has iframes and great at blowing up anti-air attempts. She will automatically do a teleport follow up if you block the first hit. She can lock you in place with the jumping light and maintain her pressure. To get a proper punish, you'll need to evade the first hit and then do an anti-air attack on the follow up. Tune in next time when I talk about 8 more moves and how to beat them. I don't tell you, but thanks for watching.